Do you ever wonder how to prompt for a file or folder from within an Access database? Hi, this is Adrian. I also go by the name of Neopar on the web. I'm going to show you how to select a file or folder using the File Dialog object that comes with Microsoft Office. I also have some code here you can download to help you do this. The link to the sample database is in the video description. It is often required to prompt the operator of an Access project to select a file or folder. Sure, it's possible to allow them to type it in freehand, or even paste it in from another application. But generally, operators are more comfortable with the facility to select it from the existing file structure, just as they would in most Windows applications, with a file or folder selection window. This is perfectly possible to do in Access, and any MS Office application, of course but we'll deal with Access here for simplicity. I've just opened up an Access database that illustrates these issues. One of the first things you need to do, and this has been done already on this project, is to go to the VBIDE, the Visual Basic Integrated Development Environment. To do this, you press Alt F11. From this window, you go to Tools, References, and Scroll down until you find a library called Microsoft Office, a number, version number, for instance, 15.0, object library. So it's Microsoft Office XX.X object library. Once that's been configured into your project, you will have access to the file and folder dialog object, as well as many others. Let's open up the form in design view and have a quick look at some of the objects involved. We have the title in a label, caption says the contents, we have a CMD folder for allowing people to select a folder and that's where it shows in the LBL folder, CMD file selects a file, LBL file displays the result at the name of that, exit, exits with a label. Let's close that now, and we'll see what happens when we run it. That's the current folder. It opens up. When you click the button, it opens up. We're going to navigate to another folder first. Notice we're browsing for folder. Click on OK, and the label has changed. Let's run it again, only this time we're going to cancel. And we should notice that it hasn't changed this time. But if we want to change it to the Adrian folder, we can do so. Browsing for file. This is different. Has more options. That's the currently pointed at file. This is a separate file. I'm going to navigate to another folder. Find this file here. These are the options that we have. We'll come to the, that in the code later. Can show all files, or as I want to do, just access database files. I'm going to select it, click OK, and you'll notice that that shows the name of the selected file. Now, let's have a look at the code behind this. You'll notice a number of routines in here, the all event procedures. You can read the code at your leisure, but what we're going to do is we're going to trace through it and see what actually happens behind the scenes when it's doing what it just did. So we'll put breakpoints on the two points in the code that is going to come in and use the FS Browse procedure. Now let's run it. We're looking for a folder first, and it breaks on the breakpoint. Now we're going to look into FS Browse. We're going to press F8, which will take us into that procedure, and we'll go through FS Browse defaults to an empty string. That's the return value. We go through with F8, we go step by step, line by line, LNG type. Currently, it's set to 4. You'll notice that 
MSO file dialog folder picker is also set to 4. So that's the line of code we expect to run, and it does. Notice now the value of dot .title. Now it says browse for folder, which is exactly what we want. This next bit of code we skip because it's not appropriate for folders. We set some other details up. Dot .show calls the dialog to open. So when we run that, we will see the dialog. It says browse for folder at the top, just as we expect. Let's select a different file and click OK. Because it was OK, it set the return value. We come back, it checks the return value and sets it on the form. When we go back to the form using Alt F11, we'll notice that that now says D data, data 14 Adrian files. It reflects what we selected. Now we go through for a file. We'll go through the same code. It behaves slightly differently. Again, FS Browse is, is reset. The return value is reset at the start. We go through here, set up the title first. LNG type is now 3, which happens to match MSO file dialog file picker. So we're going to add that to the title. When that's completed, it's going to run through the code that handles the filters. The first thing it'll do is clear the filters. After that, it'll add each of those that are required from the parameter passed in STR pattern. Adds it in a loop, and we're going to have a look at the value passed on this particular invocation. MS Access databases, all files, etc. It's now going to go through and put the standard properties in and do show. You'll see that the dialog box comes up again. Now we browse for file. We can navigate through. We've got the OK, the cancel. We've got also a list of filters available. Now, see what happens when I select all files. You see more files come up than just the access ones, but I'm interested in access ones only. I'm going to select that and click OK. Because it, the value was true, it's going to set FS Browse, and we're going to see on the form the value that we've just selected. And that's it. Thank you for listening.